Okay, welcome everyone to, to back to my channel. So if you saw the, the thumbnail of this video in the title, you would have seen that it's a bit strange because it's basically, it's at Kloofsig, but it's Kloofsig, you know, fishing out Kloofsig. So I'm, I've been fortunate enough with a group of other anglers to be contracted in to fish at Kloofsig, but in the main fly dam at the top of the venue. Uh, now the main reason for us doing this is because they are starting to change things a little bit at Kloofsig where they want to take the carp that's in the main dam at the top which is a fly fishing only dam they want to remove the carp from there and then bring them into the bass dam here at the bottom of Kloofsig. Now if you know Kloofsig you know the bass dam is way all the way to the back of the venue and yeah it's it's got carp in it but it's smaller carp so the idea is that what we as the group of anglers that we're going to do is we basically have been contracted in to fish that top dam during night um we have to unfortunately we have to fish at night time because we can't disturb any guests that are here so we can't put up tents or bivvies or or you know have loud alarms and stuff like that so it has to be very hush hush almost you know stealth like when we fish here so the idea is then we're gonna fish that top lake and whatever we catch in there we're gonna catalog it weigh it take photos catalog it and then basically the carp from there is gonna be moved into the bass dam now why the bass dam well <clears throat> the idea that they have is they want to take the bass dam at Kloofsig and turn it into a specimen dam which is always good news for all our specimen anglers um, especially if we hear of a new venue being developed um, into a specimen dam so yeah that's the idea behind it um, I must say I'm very very excited to start this project uh, can't wait to get fishing um, as soon as possible um, as it is now it's Tuesday now Tuesday afternoon and I think I might even start fishing it tomorrow night Wednesday which would be the 13th of December 2023 so yeah, very excited about this. I think it's going to be awesome. Um, as I spoke to um, the person responsible for this whole new development, um, I got a bit of history of the of the top dam. So eventually, or at the beginning when Kloofsig started this, when it was still a farm, that dam was about half the size. But that dam was there for about 50 years that it's been on there, even more maybe. And then a few years ago, I think about, he said roughly about 17, 18 years ago, um, the dam was made bigger into what we see today. So again, all dam and there's been carp in there since the beginning. Um, so hopefully it holds a nice few big carp in there, which we won't know because it's never been fished for carp before. Like I said, it's a fly only dam. So now we're going to have the opportunity to fish that dam and then whatever we catch from there we're going to move into the bass dam immediately. So yeah, uh, very excited for this project. Um, yeah, um, I think again this is something that any angler dreams of. It's a, you've got a dam or a venue, big carp in it hopefully but I think there's going to be big carp. I've heard stories of people, fly anglers, walking around there seeing some big carp. Um, so yeah, again any angler's dream to be able to fish a venue like this and then hopefully i know catch something good or big but also being part of the process being part of the process of developing um <clears throat> a new specimen venue so yeah very excited for the project um uh, i did speak to the people or the guy that's responsible here for the whole project he did say don't <laughs> he said he doesn't want people to flood him or closer now with any <clears throat> sorry I'm a bit sick as well um, he did say uh, he doesn't want anyone contacting Kloofsig now or you know uh, flooding the place with requests and info and stuff like that he is busy to see if he can in the near future have an open day where he will have an open day for let's say up to maybe 20 anglers that can come in and then also take part in the project whether we can all together we can fish that top lake 
and we can see what we can get out of there and whatever we get out we bring down to the Bass Dam or even maybe to Vilge Dam at the bottom. Vilge Dam is the dam where I usually fish. I just like that small little setup that you have there and so on. So yeah, um, just watch this space. Um, when the open day is available, um, it will be announced on social media as well. So yeah, just check out the space and I'm holding thumbs that we will get something awesome up there. Um, I'm very hopeful. I know there's a lot of carp in there. But, um, so yeah, I just think it's going to be fun. Now I know a lot of you say might be saying, okay, but why don't you just net the dam and get all the carp out? Now the thing is, there's a lot of trout in there. And trout, I'm not an expert on a trout, I'm going on what the experts say, like the guy managing this now, where trout are very sensitive. They get stressed very easily and they might die in the process. Now there's a few thousands and thousands of rands of trout in that top dam. So um, it's too much of a risk financially to net all the carp out because you might catch all the trout in the process as well. And then, yeah, it's just going to be bad for the venue. So, yeah, I'm very excited um, to start this project again also. Um, so, yeah, um, hopefully by tomorrow night I can be here for my first session. And, yeah, definitely I'm going to film the whole process as well. So, I'll keep you guys up to date with it. And, yeah, hopefully it's good things that's going to come out of here. And I do think this Bass Lake venue um, is the perfect venue for a specimen dam it's nice water lot okay there's a few snags with the fallen trees and stuff like that but it's a nice open area um, nice some trees for shade as well and yeah they're gonna develop it they're gonna put a uh, put in a toilet down here uh, like a ablution block here as well parking right next to the dams you don't have to walk all the way from reception or from Volker Dam uh, to get your stuff here so yeah and I mean just I'll show you guys again now just look at this place I mean the setting you in in between in this valley in the mountains and everything it's yeah it's just an awesome venue that's one of the reasons why Kloofsig is such a favorite of mine yeah but okay that's enough for, of me talking um, I'm gonna have a walk around a little bit more take some more photos and so on and yeah let's see what happened oh before I forget I did um, I did throw out in the area where I would like to fish tomorrow night um, I, I threw out about a kilo of sweet corn as well as to hopefully create a feeding spot and then hopefully by tomorrow night when I get here um, the carp would be in, the, in that area it's right across uh, the opposite bank on this side of the venue um, on the opposite side there's lots of weeds and stuff over there so but it's difficult getting in there um, but I did see some smaller carp patrolling the, uh, the, this side of the bank as well. But I'll show you more or I'll tell you more about that uh, when I start fishing here. But okay, um, that's it for me for now. I know I've, sp I've talked a lot now, but this is really something that I'm very excited about. And yeah, can't wait to start fishing. Then guys, if you do come, come across this video and you like the content and you like what you see, please like and subscribe. I hope you guys could hear me with all of this wind. The wind is a bit strong here today. But other than that, see you next time. Next time you see me, I most probably will be fishing on that side on the top lake at Clurfsen. Okay, thanks guys. Cheers till next time.